Hello folks and welcome back to another episode of Arcanum. So the last thing we did was we actually went and got the three blessings. Three circles of blessings. Uh, the good, the evil, and the neutral. And now we are able to go to the Vandegroth uh, ruins. And this will bring a close to the overworld part of this game. So let's head here, and this is actually a big dungeon. Alright, so here we are, and the Vandegroth ruins. And this place is pretty good if you are technologically inclined. There are a lot of monsters here, but I don't think anything is going to cause us any problems. So what we'll have to do is um, head inside, and then we will go through each floor, and I'll explain more when we get inside. Alright, so let's go into the uh, the ruins now. Okay, so there's a, actually a decent amount of stuff in here. Um, if you are a technologist, this is the place to go. There's a lot of, there's a, not a lot of schematics, but there's a, some really important schematics. I don't think there's any traps in here. Yeah, it's a lot of stuff that's going to be helpful for technologists. I did get to another staff. You can, uh, Alternate between staffs and get your uh, mana back while the other one charges up. There's a schematic. Uh, Viva Fur. Okay, so this uh, schematic is really nice. Um, it requires, I believe, therapeutics. There we go. So it requires uh, 78 uh, therapeutics and then uh, 85 chemistry. And so we're going to need an elixir of physical prowess and we're going to also need a uh, unknown chemical compounds. So keep our eyes off for these things. You can make schematics. You can use these schematics um, if you are a magical person. And I can show you that later, which we will definitely do before we go because that will give us a plus one to all stats. Let's continue on.
Okay, so here's one of the ingredients uh, that we can use for the Viva Pfeiffer. You don't want to use this, um, you want to keep this as an ingredient. Okay, so I wanted to mention um, that these vents here, they let you go from floor to floor. So I think we're almost done with this floor. That's actually a pretty nice gun. See, if you're a technologist, you get some really good stuff in here. What is it that you want of me? I'm going to trade this off. But these vents here, we'll go to the next floor here. This is a small area, but there are other floors um, that are going to be more integral as we progress in. So I'm going to clear this floor out, and then we'll go back to the first floor, and then we'll move on to the, I don't know, we'll call it third floor. And this is the How second floor. Help you? All right, I'm gonna call this the uh, third floor. And the main goals we need to do in here are to get the Van de Graaff device. Uh, we wanna use the altar to get our final blessing. And we wanna get the components for the, uh, uh, I think it's Vivifer, Vivifer, whatever that's called. And so some of these places I'm gonna skip because I know where all the goals are located and I'm not a technologist either. So I'm gonna uh, skip some of the other dungeons, but there are, I think five or six floors. We're probably only gonna hit up uh, four of them. So let's uh, continue on and then we will uh, get to the altar first.
Okay, so this is the uh, the altar here, and we can read this, and it's uh, for Valerian. And what we need to do essentially is just uh, step into the center part here, and we die. And now we are resurrected with uh, much better stats. We look at our stats here. Um, we do lose some of our other things, but we get uh, melee, a lot of melee, a lot of dodge, uh, a lot of pickpocket, persuasion, uh, firearms not really that beneficial to us. We also get um, additional dexterity, so 15 dexterity. We also have additional constitution. Um... We also have uh, magic resists boost, uh, damage resist boost, and yeah, so that's pretty much it. Um, some additional boosts to our resistances, and then some uh, base stats. It's not too bad. Um, this is I usually wait to distribute points until I get this blessing to see exactly what I would need. Um, so I. Uh, I mean, the biggest ones are, are the health and the fatigue. So I have tons of this stuff now. So I shouldn't have to worry about um, dealing, have to worry about fatigue. Especially with my two different staffs, I can switch between, you know, the, the two different mage staffs, which will continuously uh, regenerate additional uh, mana for me. So I should be fine now with that sort of thing. Um, I will get an additional stats when I complete the, the Vivifier. That's all you can do really in this area too. Okay, so once we get uh, that, we can just go through this passage here. And um, I am skipping quite a bit of stuff with this uh, area because I'm not a technologist. If you were a technologist, I would definitely recommend uh, spending the time in looting this place a lot. I just wanted to come here for the Vandergrath machine and the Vivifier and of course the uh, altar. So we have to kill these automatrons. Um, They're pretty fast. I don't know, nothing did it. Ugh. Guys are a beast. Yeah, nothing to loot. Okay. I'm just going to disintegrate him then. It's gonna be much faster to disintegrate these guys. I do need to get this uh, other thing here, the chemical compound, which is gonna be in here somewhere. Okay, so this is the last component we need. Uh, if we look at our uh, therapeutics, and we have both the unknown chemical compound and the elixir of physical prowess now. So now we'll just need to go in uh, before we head on over to complete uh, the ruins of Brodger. We'll need to uh, combine these two into the proper item. And you can only get one of these. So that's, that's they kind of limited it to only these two things being in this area. Um, so we have those two components now. So let's go ahead and complete. I'm gonna, I'm gonna use a, a scroll. Just in case, so I don't ruin my armor.
Okay, so this is uh, the last place we need to go, and this should get us the uh, Van de Greth device. There we go. Uh, ten stones, not bad. Very lightweight device. So that's gonna be it for this place. We've uh, we've conquered this place. Um, level forty-seven. You will get a few levels in the uh, void as well, so don't worry about you being under leveled. Because you'll definitely get some more when you actually go to the void. Alright, so the last thing we can do actually is just, uh, let's go to uh, Tarant. And I'm going to show you how to actually make the Vivifier. Okay, so we're in Tarant. And what we can do is there's a university bookseller, which is in the very corner of Tarant. Um... And it's in the university place. Same place we found the guy that does the uh, ancient gods quest line. And also the demonologist guy. And then the uh, forensics uh, head guy. Uh, so we can talk to him. He'll give us uh, some technical manuals. So 750 coins per manual. We have a decent amount of money. Um, the amount of bonus you get based on each manual is dependent on your intelligence so let's see what we get uh, we do need one for uh, we need one for chemistry we need one for therapeutics so let's get one for chemistry and let's get one for therapeutics they are definitely heavy as well so we have chemistry, therapeutics. Uh, let's see what we get from just these two. Okay, so our intelligence is at 13 right now. I believe this will boost up our therapeutics. But 13, okay, so we're at 13 now for therapeutics and we should be at 13 for chemistry as well. All right, so let's do some math here. Um, what we could do is go up to 15. Then we'll only need to buy uh, for our the Pfeiffer. We need 78 and 85. Okay. So I think the best thing to do, um, we're going to need six of these books. So let's just get six books. Um, We're gonna need more chemistry. No, we're gonna need more therapeutics, don't we? Let's see what we need. Okay, so we're gonna need more in chemistry. Okay, so here we are. We are we are in the uh, magic shop. I just bought a essence of intellect. Uh, right now, we are currently at uh, for chemistry seventy eight. Therapeutics 78. We have six books each. So six times 13 is 78. Let's use this and we should go up a lot more. Alright, so 20 intellect. So we only, uh, if we look at our. It's only 78 still, huh? Interesting. Okay, we're at 85. Um, if you, since we uh, went up, you have to actually remove the uh, books and then put them back in your inventory. And then they will uh, increase your uh, items, even after you've used your intellect potion. So now what we can do is uh, create this. There we go. Vivifier, done. So this is our Vivifier, and we can use it. Uh, there's our stats. Um, our intellect went down now, so we're at 13. But if we if we uh, use this, every one of our stats should go up. There we go. Look at that. Everything went up. So that is how you would actually make the uh, uh, mechanical stuff, the uh, stuff that you... Uh, technological stuff that you wouldn't be able to make as a uh, 
a mage normally. You just need to spend a lot of money on books and once you have uh, enough of these books and enough intellect, you can use them to uh, boost up your technological skills, which will then in turn let you build uh, these devices. So we can technically build a automaton if we wanted to, um, or any one of these uh, found schematics, if we so desired. All right, so that's gonna be it for this episode. I thank you for watching, appreciate it. And I will see you in the next episode. Goodbye.